For years, China has tried to get the West to abandon Taiwan. Now, the U.S. is sending in Green Berets. Didn't work out for you, did it, China? Welcome to China Uncensored. I'm Chris Chappell. Oh, ho, ho, ho. China messed up bad. Last month, Beijing announced a new campaign to contain foreign interference over Taiwan this year. According to state-run Xinhua News, Wang Huining, the fourth highest-ranking CCP official, held a two-day meeting on the Taiwan issue. And this year will be a very special year for Taiwan. That's because it's the 75th anniversary of communist rule in China. So Huning said it was necessary to do a good job on Taiwan-related work with a high sense of responsibility and mission. In other words, break Taiwan. And they're getting Russia's help. After Putin's win in a quote-unquote election, Russian President Vladimir Putin rallied against attempts made by unfriendly countries against China to make all kinds of provocations around Taiwan, which is an inherent part of the People's Republic of China. I'm sure just like Ukraine is an inherent part of Russia. Taiwan, of course, hit back, slamming Putin for backing China's territorial claims. The Taiwan Minister of Foreign Affairs said that Taiwan is a sovereign and independent country and is not subordinate to the People's Republic of China. What a crazy idea. But China's effort to contain foreign interference in the South China Sea aren't going so well. In fact, this month, the United States has permanently deployed its Green Beret Special Forces just six miles off the Chinese coast. Ooh, things are heating up. I'll tell you more after the break. Welcome back. The U.S. is sending Green Berets to Taiwan. They're there to train Taiwanese soldiers in guerrilla warfare and island defense in case the CCP decides to invade the island. U.S. troops visiting Taiwan and training their armed forces isn't anything new. But this is the first time American troops are being permanently deployed to the region. And so close to China at that. The CCP is furious. While Beijing has yet to respond to this news publicly, China is already enraged at the growing presence of the U.S. military in the Indo-Pacific, as well as increased Taiwanese diplomatic presence throughout the world. Last month, China demanded that the U.S. sever all official diplomatic engagement with Taipei, saying it was interfering with Chinese policy. Foreign Ministry spokeswoman Mao Ning said China opposes any form of official interaction between the U.S. and Taiwan and rejects U.S. interference in Taiwan affairs in whatever form or under whatever pretext. But Green Berets in Taiwan are not the only United States interference China has to worry about. The United States is also strengthening its already deep ties with Japan by holding joint three-week military exercises this month known as Iron Fist. U.S. Ambassador to Japan Rahm Emanuel said the U.S. is counting on Japan to help it deter North Korea, China, and Russia in the Pacific Ocean, particularly after Moscow's invasion of Ukraine and Pyongyang's ongoing ballistic missile tests. The partnership is already bearing fruit, since this week, Japan's defense ministry revealed that it has been tracking two Chinese warships that are sailing in waters frequented recently by the U.S. Navy. According to Japan, China's naval frigates Joshan and Jingzhou sailed via the Miyako Strait into the East China Sea on March 2nd, going beyond the first island chain. Japan's joint staff also said that on March 12th, two Chinese H-6 strategic bombers and Chinese Navy Y-9 electronic intelligence aircraft flew on the same route. This was very close to both Japanese and Taiwanese territory, not long after the U.S. and its regional allies had conducted military drills in the area. This comes as Taiwan has been warning that the CCP is on a mission to normalize its military drills around and inside Taiwanese territory. One would think that with all of its internal problems, as well as the West's massive assistance to its allies in Ukraine and the Middle East, Beijing wouldn't want to ramp up tensions with its neighbors at this point. But the CCP is about as rational as a drunk 19-year-old spring breaker in Panama City Beach. 
All this foreign interference has the CCP hysterical, and they're lashing out in every direction. The CCP blasted U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken's visit to the Philippines this week, where Blinken said the U.S. commitment to the security of the Philippines is ironclad. China quickly responded by saying that Washington has no right to interfere in the South China Sea, where it has territorial disputes with the Philippines and other neighboring countries aligned with the U.S. But the U.S. isn't the only foreign power angering China by getting involved in what is clearly China's business, and China's business only in the South China Sea. I'll tell you who else is sticking their nose in after the break. Welcome back. The U.S. is flaunting China's campaign to contain foreign interference regarding Taiwan, but it's not alone. The Czech Republic is making an appearance. Xiaobi Kim, Taipei's former de facto ambassador to the U.S. and current vice president-elect, angered China this week by visiting the Czech Republic. Jeff Liu, Taiwan's foreign ministry spokesperson, pointed out that Xiao was invited by a think tank called Synopsis to speak to them. But China was not mollified, and of course not. I mean, this is Xiaobi Kim we're talking about. China already hates her. The CCP has declared her a die-hard Taiwan independent separatist and sanctioned her. It's important to note that the only European country that formally recognizes Taiwan as an independent state is the Vatican. However, several Central and Eastern European countries, including the Czech Republic, are growing closer to Taipei, especially after Russia's invasion of Ukraine. One Czech politician posted a picture of him meeting with Xiao on his X page. How did China react? You guessed it, they got angry. Again. In Beijing, Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesperson Lin Jian said that Prague should severely restrain certain Czech politicians and must take effective measures to remove the negative influence of this incident. But it doesn't look like things are checking out for the CCP. On March 18th, Taiwan's Ministry of Foreign Affairs held a press event with a visiting Czech government official, where he praised a joint project between the two countries for reconstruction in Ukraine. And then there's New Zealand. New Zealand is also sticking its nose where it's not wanted by China. In fact, New Zealand recently raised the South China Sea and Taiwan tensions with China during a meeting between the two nations' foreign ministers. Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi and New Zealand's Foreign Minister Winston Peters discussed trade and stability in the Pacific, but New Zealand's concerns about Hong Kong, Xinjiang, Tibet, and Taiwan were also brought up in the discussion. So if the CCP was hoping to make this the year to take Taiwan, they certainly are mistaken. And this show would not be possible without what I call the China Uncensored 50 Cent Army, our supporters on Patreon. As a thank you, I respond to their questions or comments on the show. And today's comes from Bumblebee Whisperer. I just became a Patreon. I appreciate the snark and sarcasm since that's my way of communicating. Ah, then we're not so different, you and I. Bumblebee Whisperer, thank you so much for becoming a new patron. Times have been tough for the show lately, so new supporters like you are quite literally the lifeblood of the show. That's something I can't be sarcastic about. China Uncensored wouldn't exist without your support. Of course, if you are looking for a little more snark, I recommend this video from my new show, Deep Thoughts While Gaming, where I talk about controversial issues by hiding them in gaming content. And this week, I'm talking about the border crisis in Skyrim. Any parallels you draw with the real world are your own doing. Thanks for your support, Bumblebee Whisperer, and thank you for watching. Click that orange button to support China Censored on Patreon. Once again, I'm Chris Chappell. See you next time.